Hi green lovers! In this video I am going to show you how I make my level up beer traps for oops, roly polies. Now don't get me wrong, I think roly polies are fantastic in the garden. They are great decomposers and I use wood chips all over my yard. Roly polies do like to hide under wood chips. And while they are great decomposers at things that are dead or almost dead, they will take out your young plants because your young plants are weak, your young transplants, your baby seedlings. And so we just got to guard against those and bring back that balance to our garden, right? Now one of the most effective things you can use in your garden to guard against roly polies is Sluggo Plus. You can buy this commercially. The primary ingredient is spinosad as well as iron phosphate. The problem with it is even though it is approved for organic gardening, these ingredients are toxic to creatures like bees. Spinosad is highly toxic to bees and also quite toxic to earthworms. So they kill indiscriminately, good and bad. And so I'm very, very cautious if I use Sluggo Plus. I do use it on occasion, but I actually literally count the grains that I put around my plants. But it is very effective. And in the short term, in a pinch, just for a few days, it can protect those young seedlings until they strengthen up. The other thing that I do is I make sure that there is decomposing material around my young plants to give the roly polies an option. The problem with that method is that the roly polies go through that dead material very, very quickly and then they get to your young plants. Beer traps are a great alternative organic method to keep some of those critters at bay from your young plants. What you do is you have a container that you fill up with a little bit of beer and you bury it so that the top of the container is level with the soil and so things like slugs and bugs and earwigs and roly-polies will crawl into the beer trap and kind of slide into it because they're attracted to that sweet smell. And once they're in there, they will drown, okay? So you are killing them in the end. However, I do believe they die happy. So the biggest problem with beer traps is that they are left open to the elements. Now the elements can be sunshine, which tends to dry up the beer fairly quickly, or it can be water, rain, or some overhead watering that you might be doing that will dilute the beer very, very quickly. So you've got to be constantly on top of your game, refilling it, and that kind of becomes old after a while. So here's my method, which I consider an upgrade to the beer trap method. So this is what you're going to need to make the beer traps. First, you need the beer trap itself. The way that I do it is I actually cut slits along the sides of the container. Ignore the duct tape. I kind of messed up and created cracks and so I sealed those cracks with duct tape. But the key is that you keep the lid on and you bury it up until the bottom edge of your slit so that the critters can crawl in and fall in to the beer trap and they won't be able to crawl out. The advantage of the lid obviously is it's going to keep all those things like water etc from falling into it and it will also prevent as much or as rapid evaporation. The way that I refill it is with a straw. I kind of just stick a straw into the slit and then I put this funnel sorry trying to do this one-handed I put the funnel into the straw so you got to get a little bit of an extra big straw and then you pour the beer from the top or you can just pull out the container refill it and put it back in again of course you've got to use your very very best beer for this this is my husband who is a home brewer one of his favorite um, English barley wines that I'm going to be using for my bugs. I'm kidding. You need to use stale beer, the cheapest that you can find. Uh, you can also use little containers like this. I This one didn't have a lid, so I used that glad press and seal to make kind of a makeshift lid for it. You can use anything that you like to cover it up. The slits as usual and just a little bit of beer at the bottom, just sufficient for them to fall in 
and die happy drowning. So let's go into the garden and bury these things. So here's my watermelon pit and my little seedlings are just starting to sprout. And as you can see here, yep, they've gotten one of them. So this is what I'm trying to protect against. Unfortunately, these seedlings, as soon as they emerge, they are so vulnerable because they are young and weak. And this is just for these few days until they strengthen up, maybe a week, maybe two weeks. You gotta stay on top of your game and keep your beer trap filled and regularly emptied from all those dead bodies that are going to be accumulating in them. So as you can see, I have buried this. It needs to be almost level with the soil, the bottom of the slit. You don't need to be too terribly careful about it. They will be able to crawl over. The smell will be so intoxicating, they won't be able to resist it. And it's okay if a few crumbs of soil fall in there, no problem. And fill it up with a little bit of beer. Maybe a little bit more. You don't want any blank spaces. Mmm, yum. I hate these things. Look at it, that beautiful plant. They're after it. They're gonna get it. Well, let's hope the beer trap works before all my seedlings get eaten. This one's a Ghana. I'm not even gonna try to save it. I'm gonna leave it there as a sacrifice. Well folks, it's the next morning and let's see how our roly-poly trap did. So here is the roly-poly trap. It's been here all night. Let's see whether it caught any roly-polies. Wow. So there have been quite a few that have climbed in here and have been drinking the beer all night long. Some of them are still alive and crawling around in the dry spots, but a lot of them are dead. I'm gonna refill this with a little bit more beer than I did yesterday because clearly they love it. Who doesn't love a good English barley wine, right? Anyway, folks, I hope you try this method because uh, look, those three watermelon plants are doing just fantastic. They have been untouched by the roly-polies. And I'm going to leave this beer trap here for at least another week or maybe even two weeks to make sure that my little plants stay nice and safe and grow to their full potential without having to deal with all these pests. If you like this video, folks, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. It really helps get this video out to a broader audience. And until next time, live green and love your greens. Mm -hmm.